Hey guys, Mrs. B here. Uh, just a quick little video of looking at matrices when you multiply them together to tell if it's defined or undefined and uh, also to see what dimensions you will will result from the operation. So let's take a look at some examples. Here are four different uh, matrices A, B, C, and D. Okay, and my first question, I want to multiply A and B together. Is it going to be defined? So let's take a look at A. I have two rows by one column. And let's take a look at B. I have one row by two columns. Okay, so in order for our operation to be defined, I need to look at our inside numbers. Do they match up? They do. One and one. Okay, so yes, it's defined. It's a terrible S. Yes, it's defined. Now, the next piece of information I want to know is what dimension will the result be? For that, we take a look at our outside numbers. We're going to have a 2 by 2. Okay, so yes, it's defined, and the result will be a 2 by 2. Let's try another one. Let's do, let's do B times A. B times A. I just did the inverse of it. Uh, so we have B, which is a 1 by 2, and A, which is a 2 by 1. And look it, they do match up. And we will have a one by one matrix when we're done. Okay, let's try a couple more. Let's try B times C. B times C. Okay, so B we have a one by two. C we have a two by two. Is it defined? Yeah. Our inside numbers match up. What are the dimensions of our new matrix after we multiply? It's going to be a 1 by 2. All right. Let's do a couple more. Let's do C times B. Maybe that will result in something different. C times B. C is a 2 by 2. C is a 2 by 2. And B is a 1 by 2. Okay, so C was a 2 by 2. B, B is a 1 by 2. So look at here. We are not going to be able to perform this operation. So this is not defined, or eh, rather undefined. Let's say undefined. So we wouldn't even go any further to try to solve it. Alright guys, that's it for this quick little video. Have a good weekend. See you on Monday.